Nothing could possibly go wrong after that. Nothing, Nothing could, could possibly, possibly go wrong after that. Florida, we have a state of emergency and at several beaches. People are now being urged to stay out of the water. Marine is closed, beaches empty. The slime and giant plumes of algae you see are symptoms of a man-made creation inflicted on Florida's ecosystem. What's going on, guys? During your last episode of Juke Squad versus the state of Florida, we informed you that Mike Honcho had to go to court over criminal charges regarding our fence that we put up. It's been a week since everything happened and we have a few updates. Come with me. The same city and state of Florida that gave us a ticket almost immediately afterwards put up their own fence, claiming we aren't allowed to go past it because it's private property. Ain't that an ironic <laughs> But it's okay because the state of Florida is doing a beach renourishment project and they're building us a brand new beach of our own. That's right, they hired a team of experts. Okay, there's birds everywhere and a helicopter, so we're gonna wait a second. That's right, they've hired a team of experts to pick up sand from way out there and to dump it right here. They're also going to be leveling it out with their tractors, giving us almost 100 feet of new beach that we're going to make private. I'm just kidding, we're done with that, but. You know, this whole process sounds pretty expensive, right? That's because it is. This is costing about $25 million. You might be asking, how can you afford that, Jack? The answer to that question is, I can't. Luckily for me, this one's on the Florida taxpayers. So really now all I have to do is sit back, relax, and watch my new beach get put in before my very eyes. So it's been three days since I filmed that last segment. And they haven't done anything yet. I guess the main thing that builds the beach broke. Look, they're so close to having my new beach done right in front of the house and the pump broke down. Some cool info on this though. Last time they did a beach room nourishment like this, they tapered the beach from my house down to where the city ends. So the beach got more and more narrow as they went. I believe this time they're gonna make it into a point. If this is the case, then I'm really excited because that means the waves will be really, really good right there. And uh, every single time they've dredged before this, it completely kills the skim. And the skim sucks for like two years after that, so it's really a shame they're not done because once this beach is done, everything's gonna be great. Nothing could possibly go wrong after that. Nothing, Nothing could, could possibly, possibly go, go wrong, wrong after that. In Florida, we have a state of emergency and at several beaches, people are now being urged to stay out of the water. Marine is closed, beaches empty. The slime and giant plumes of algae you see are symptoms of a man-made creation inflicted on Florida's ecosystem. I gotta do something about this. All right, guys, um, Florida is currently experiencing one of the worst ecological disasters in the history of the state of Florida. Um, entire ecosystems are being taken out. Hundreds of manatees are dying. Hundreds of dolphins are dying. Hundreds of sea turtles are dying. And uh, we're basically wiping out a huge portion of the population. And it is beyond frustrating because Pretty much everyone in the state of Florida is completely outraged right now. Nothing is being done about it at this point. For 6,000 years, Lake Okeechobee drained south into the Everglades, giving life to one of the most biologically diverse regions on the entire planet. That changed when people inhabited it and turned these swamp lands into farmlands. In 1928, Florida was hit by a massive hurricane that actually was the second deadliest natural disaster in U.S. history. Well over 2,000 people died and water flooded hundreds of miles of land north and south of the lake. To prevent this from happening again, a giant dam was built around the entire lake. This completely cut off the south flowing water from the lake, and when the water levels rise too high, the dams are open and the water is drained to the east and to the west to prevent flooding. 
This completely cut off water flow from South Florida. And over the years, thousands of acres of swamplands in Florida and thousands of acres of Everglades began drying up. Now, this has become such a problem for one reason alone. Big sugar companies. They fertilize their sugarcane fields south of Lake Okeechobee, and all the runoff from their fields is then drained into the lake, causing huge toxic algae blooms. I have a clip from the Weather Channel that I'm going to run for you. Billions of gallons of foul water destroys oyster beds. Dolphins and fish struggle. This manatee, videotaped last July, was left gasping for air in the toxic muck. It's about dollars and cents. My business fell off. Um, this year, it fell off about 50%. Uh, the problem is the perception is out there. You have customers come year after year and they see bad fishing, bad water, know about the discharges. They don't call you again. You know, and Florida is a sport fishing capital of the world. This great title. But our politicians from the governor on down aren't treating it like the sport fishing capital. They're letting the water go to hell. And we're really fearful if we don't turn this around in the next decade, we're going to lose it. So this is affecting the industry here, not just fishing, but uh, anything that happens on the water. I call it trickle up. It trickles up. We put people in the water. They have to stay in a hotel. They go to restaurants. They go to the movies at night. They rent a car here. They buy gas here. All these things they do. If they're not here in my boat fishing, they're not here. It gets worse. The fertilizer infused water could be making people sick. It was a gorgeous day. so. We headed out on the boat. My husband and my son Bodhi, who um, was 20 months old at the time, went swimming. And like most young children do, they take in water when they're swimming or eating. It wasn't until early the next morning that I was woken up by my son crying. And when I got to his crib, it was full of vomit. He threw up everywhere. How did his illness progress from there? Bodhi took a very long time to recover 100%. The pediatrician said to me that it's great to live here. You have a beautiful view, but you don't want to necessarily go swimming in the water because you take your own health at risk when you do. Whatever caused Bodhi's illness, altering the natural flow of Florida's water has become an environmental crisis. So this entire mess, it kind of all goes back to sugar. Pre-1900, when they first started draining all this land, all this swamp land, to be used for sugarcane fields. And they've had complete success growing here. The problem is that it's still a system that's in place today to keep the sugarcane fields dry. They get perfect crop conditions and perfect irrigation, perfect drainage for their crop, and, you know, record crops every year. But the complex system of waterways and pumping stations have been disastrous to the environment. The drained land has also grown cities and sprawling suburbs. Adding insult to injury, sugar no longer powers Florida's economy. Tourism does. When the dike was built around the lake and stopped that river of grass flow to the south, to the Everglades from Lake Okeechobee, they had this entitlement of saying, we're gonna make this agricultural land. They want to keep the status quo. But Mark, you're <coughs> ticked about this, why? Oh, I'm mad because they won't cooperate and say we need some, just some connection between Lake Okeechobee and the Everglades. And they don't seem to want to give one acre towards that. In 2008, U.S. Sugar, the largest sugar company in the country, did agree to sell their land. Thanks to U.S. Sugar Corporation, we have a strategy to acquire almost 187,000 acres of land, renewing the natural flow to America's river of grass. But it didn't happen. The Great Recession came, and the state did not pursue purchasing all the land. It's the political will that's not there. There's not enough political will to make this happen. The ag industry, especially Big Sugar, has so much influence in Tallahassee and Washington. They're top of the totem pole. We're way down here. We belong up here. U.S. Sugar declined our request for an interview. Last 4th of July, they skipped putting out beach chairs or building sandcastles to send a message to politicians. There's thousands of people out here to show our support to save our river. Send the water south. The only viable solution is to create a pathway for the water south into the Everglades. Our legislature has to buy the land and get a flowway built so we have no more discharges to the coast. But buying the land and engineering costs would cost Florida taxpayers billions of dollars. For now, the plan is to keep spending money to fortify the aging Herbert Hoover Dyke. There is no end in sight for the environmental disaster. 
the lake's water will still be pushed to the coast, fouling beaches and potentially destroying people's health. The final blow comes when you factor in Mother Nature. A large hurricane over Lake Okeechobee could cause the dike to fail, once again flooding the land and the people that so much has been sacrificed to save. The link is in the description to the original video if you want to check it out. This is a complicated problem that didn't happen overnight. Most of us do not understand the Florida Everglades is a mass massively complex watershed that begins far north of Lake Okeechobee and the Kissimmee River Basin. Feel free to reach out to all the Florida Congress, to the state, to the Senate. Literally send this to as many people as you can. Um, I'm outraged. The entire state of Florida is outraged. If you live in the state of Florida, even if you don't, you should really care about stuff like this because we are literally wiping out precious ecosystems. Uh, manatees were on the endangered species list for years and years, and now we're wiping out a solid portion of their population. So um, something needs to be done. Uh, it really makes me sick to my stomach that corporations have more say than the people who live here. And in South Florida, you can't even go to the beach without your eyes burning so bad that you can't even see and you start to cough and your lungs swell up and it's just, it's, it's poison and it's disgusting and something needs to be done. And um, we always said we we're going to try to use our voice for good. So we're going to do everything we can to open people's eyes to this topic as much as possible, but expect a full video on this topic. Um, we're gonna come to you guys with as many solutions as possible to uh, prevent this from happening in the future. Instead of blaming people, we really all need to come up with a way to fix this because um, it's horrible. So I'll see you guys in a couple days for a new video. We have a 24 hour challenge on the way in the middle of the ocean in the works. It's gonna be legendary, 24 hours of Instagram followers controlling our lives. And uh, we're really excited. You know, Jug News has been going great. The channels are both doing really well. And we're having a lot of fun. And I think that that's the most important part. So buy my merch and see you tomorrow for a new video. Or maybe the next day. I don't know. Thanks for watching. I'm still going to send it. <laughs>